Hello feline friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another research video and we're talking all about cats and our mental health. So pets and animals in general are often popular ways to provide emotional support for people. You may have heard of emotional support dogs or emotional support cats that help patients and different care facilities. Beyond that, there's a lot of animal and health scientists that believe that pet ownership can have a lot of positive impacts on our mental health. So as someone who's obsessed with cats, I wanted to dive into the actual science behind why cats are good for our mental health because you know Why wouldn't I want another reason to champion our feline friends? So let's start with the most common hypothesis that cats can serve as emotional support animals Diving into the actual research that was publicly available online There were a couple of older studies that demonstrated cats can successfully serve as good emotional support animals A lot of owners who have been surveyed in the past have stated that cats serve as sort of a companion and can almost even replace human social networks, basically meaning that talking to their cats after work or when they're upset served as enough emotional connection for them where they didn't even feel the need to talk to other humans. That being said, everybody's different. Every person's different. If you're going through hard times in your lives or you don't have a strong bond with your cat, then of course the cat isn't going to serve that same level of emotional support as someone who does have a strong bond with their cat. Cat. Speaking of bonds, there were several studies that showed that having a close bond with your cat can be beneficial in reducing mental health risks and improving overall mental well-being. This was specifically shown true in teenage populations and older adults. There was one really interesting study where these researchers followed teenagers throughout the course of their life, and that study actually showed that teens who had a really strong bond or emotional attachment to a pet cat when they were younger had a reduced risk of anxiety and other mental health issues as they got older. For older adults who had a cat companion that they were emotionally bonded with, cat ownership actually showed to improve their overall well-being by providing a sense of companionship or a sense of purpose that they may have lost because of their age. While there wasn't a whole lot of research on this, the findings that are available do suggest for older adults, cat ownership might decrease their sense of loneliness and increase the amount of socialization that they might not get elsewhere. There are also studies showing that cats can boost our overall mood and improve our cognitive functioning, meaning that it can improve how well we talk, process information, and even our memory. There's also evidence that cats can help alleviate bad moods the same way that a reliable partner in our lives can. But this is most likely explained by the level of companionship between a human and their cat, meaning that the stronger your bond feels with your cat, the more likely it is that your cat can help you alleviate negative mood. In terms of memory and cognitive functioning, there are a couple studies that show that petting cats or even hearing cats can activate the prefrontal cortex. And because the prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that's responsible for a lot of cognitive processing like your memory and your speech, this is one potential way that cat ownership might benefit our overall executive functioning. So in summary, cats do appear to have a lot of potential benefits to people mental health. But there are a lot of factors that play into why that may be, and this isn't the case for everyone because each individual is different. It seemed like the most important factors throughout all of these studies is having a strong bond with your cat, which makes sense because if you have a bad relationship with your cat or your cat is constantly stressing you out for whatever reason, then it's probably not going to help your mental health. This may also be situational. So for example, I found one study examining the effects of owning a cat during the COVID-19 lockdown. And contrary to what I thought the study would say, the researchers actually found that if the owner was stressing about finances or COVID, then in that instance, owning a cat actually added on to their stress. But like I said, every individual is different. For me, I had gotten my previous cat during the COVID lockdown and just anecdotal Totally personally, he helped so much with my mental health while I, you know, was just locked in my apartment 24-7. So yeah, that pretty much sums up all of the available evidence that I was able to gather online. There wasn't a ton out there, but I hope this was helpful and interesting for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any other cat-related topics that you want me to dive into the science on, let me know in the comments below. Alright, take care everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye!